Reddit is the website that made everything click for me. At first, I was afraid of using Reddit because of the reputation that it has for strict community for I'm sorry, for a strict community and toxic people. But when I realized how to actually use it, it was completely the opposite of what I thought what I thought. So I want to say what I see a lot of people using Reddit f as and how they can be using it a lot better. So if you're on Reddit and if you're trying to use the, that website, like how you're using every other website to go to another website, you're doing that's that's not that's not great. <laughs> There's a better way that you can do it. It's very similar to Facebook. The, the problem is similar to Facebook, and the solution is also similar to Facebook. You can easily set up your own subreddit, and if your works are free, post your works on your subreddit. But the caveat is Reddit has, every post has a 20 page max. 20 pages, oh, 20 I would say images max. So what you should do is divide your story in, share in shareable moments. For example, I uploaded Purgatory Academy, uh, 12 pages, well, five posts. Well, the first book is around 115, 14 pages. I took those 115, 14 pages, put them in five parts for five posts. Easy peasy. For book two, that was different because with book two, I actually s segmented them in chapters and those chapters vary in page length. Some pages were 15, 15 pages plus the cover. Other pages were 24 pages plus the cover. And what I did with those pages that exceeded the post page limit was I found I found a part in the chapter where I could have a have some breathing room. I guess you could call this like if you if somebody was reading was watching it like as if it was a TV show, where would you put a commercial break? Where would you break in that chapter so you can pick up the second half of that chapter on onward to another post and make them in a way where if somebody wanted to share a certain segment of that chapter, they can do it easily. So chop up your stories in 20 pages max or less than 20 pages in shareable moments. And you also have to think about the reading experience, having the the most, making the most out of the reader's reading experience, uh, while looking at your comics through the subreddit, and how you can let people be aware of how they can support you through that subreddit. There's also the thing that you can do, where similar to Facebook, you can put descriptions. That or links uh, with your picture, with your uh, images. Like with page one, you can say, hey, subscribe to my newsletter. Page two, you can say, hey, I have, you can uh, buy some merch from Redbubble or whatever your print on demand uh, service, services. That is absolutely doable. Or, you can go into the comment section and put all the all different all the different ways that you can let people know about what you're doing. That's very that's that's easy. What you should not do though is take a segment, take a post from Reddit, from your subreddit 
and cross post it to another subreddit, a larger subreddit. I know Reddit as a website, they recommend you doing that to make your subreddit grow. But in reality, all that's going to do is make people see you somewhat as an outsider that you're using that subreddit to gain notoriety for your own for your own purposes. Like I said with the Facebook module or the Facebook uh, portion of this course that it really matters. It really matters how you package everything. It doesn't matter what's inside the package. All that matters is how you present it. A cross post is not going to read the same as a native post. So what you do with that na- so what you do with that native post is you go into the comment section and say, "Hey, this is part of a larger story," and then you link them to your subreddit. The thing and you may ask, "Why can't I link them to my website of choice?" Well, the reason why that's not a good idea is because not only that not only that websites themselves they want people to stay on there as long as possible that's how people act that's how the that's how the users are too they don't want to go leave from one site to another site just to read a story that they may or may not like to go to a website that they may or may not like uh and there's a lot of room for error to a point where it's a split second decision and it looks so good for the reader at that point to just say, no, have a nice day. I spent my entire life not knowing who you are and I can continue live my entire life without knowing where this story goes. You have to make that split second decision a lot easier and the best way to do that is to implement what that website provides, what Reddit provides to you in terms of how to showcase your story uh, and sharing it with others. And Reddit, honestly, it has, in my, in my personal experience, it has the biggest opportunity to have your work seen by thousands and hundreds of thousands of people just by posting natively on a subreddit cross posting cross posting your subreddit to another subreddit it i just don't get that amount of engagement by cross posting and the funny thing is you can literally put whatever you want in the comment section. Well, I wouldn't say literally whatever you want. You can post the link to your subreddit in the comment section. And because it's still on the website, that's not asking much for the reader. Because if they want to see more, click on a button, they'll see more. It's about the user's experience of staying on that website as long as possible. And once you get them into a headspace of them reading so much of your content that they want to financially support you, there you will be able, there you will be able to tell them or show them how they can support you either by sharing or taking giving them a link to a PayPal or a donation or Patreon or whatever have you, the best way, the easiest way for your potential fans, potential, potential fans to support you financially. That is my strategy with Reddit.